Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. It has been a rainy day here in Vegas. I think it finally just stopped, but I don't know if you can tell how cloudy it is. Very, very gloomy day. So it is in the afternoon. I am getting ready to go out uh, to dinner. My husband and I are having a little date night tonight. So I thought I would get ready with you guys. We are gonna be going to Amalfi, which is the, n it's not new anymore. No, it's definitely not new anymore. <laughs> I think it opened up during the pandemic, but it is Bobby Flay's restaurant um, at Caesars. And what used to be in the spot was Mesa Grill, which my husband and I were so excited about because we used to live around the corner from the Mesa Grill in New York, uh, in Manhattan. And that closed many, many years ago, like several years before we even moved to Vegas. And we missed it because we used to go there for brunch all the time. We would just sit at the bar. Uh, we would sit like on a corner of the bar and like, you know, kind of be facing each other. And it was so nice. The bartenders were always super cool. The menu was amazing for brunch. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Mesa Grill for brunch, um, but it was, it was just, it was so good. It had like a Southwestern flair. So when we moved here, we were so excited that they had a Mesa Grill um, at Caesars and we went for the brunch I would say a handful of times. So yeah, so they closed that. We were bummed. We were like, oh my God, it's happening again. <laughs> Mesa Grill is closing, um, but they opened up Amalfi in its place. And uh, I think it's, you know, obviously I think seafood heavy, but I think there are some other things. So that's where we're going tonight. I haven't vlogged today because I woke up. Um, I was supposed to go to a stride class and I just felt like a little overwhelmed with work. I had to get some editing done. I had all these emails that piled up. I had to get like some tax prep work over to my accountant. I was like, oh my God. So I canceled my stride class, which I'm kind of regretting now because all day I felt kind of like, like I was dragging and I feel like working out would have really helped. So anyway, um, I just kind of did boring stuff. So I didn't really vlog today. So we're starting now. We are starting now. So I just showered obviously and Guys, we're gonna have a little heart to heart. Not too long, <laughs> but a little heart to heart. I have completely just gone off the rails. I have talked a little bit about, you know, my eating and dieting and um, doing elimination diets and things. I think the last thing I probably spoke about was the carnivore diet. And I started that like two Augusts ago at this point, I believe. Um, but it was definitely during the um, lockdown. And um, I think it was like kind of lifting at that point, but we still didn't feel that comfortable. We definitely weren't traveling. Uh, we didn't feel that comfortable uh, going to any place unless we kind of had to, or unless we were just like dying to get out of the house. Um, we were still wearing masks. So it was during that time period. And um, I started doing carnivore and I wasn't working out that much because I wasn't going to the gym. And I really, really enjoyed it. I liked the way it made me feel. Um, and what I always notice when I do elimination diets is my skin always looks really clear. It's very resilient. I don't feel like I get, you know, the little breakout here and there, the little like kind of dry patch that I always get. Um, I don't get any of those things. And so, you know, that usually is what eggs me on and keeps me going um, doing these elimination diets, which are not easy to do. They're not practical either. You really can't like go out to eat. Um, you can, but it's, you know, it's just difficult. It's hard. So I fell off that wagon. I want to say like this time last year, I started to go out a little bit more. I was, um, I traveled to New York this past February. I think that was my first post pandemic trip. Um, I pretty much ate whatever I wanted anyway. Um, and I've been, you know, not wanting to get right back onto carnivore per se, but I wanted to get back onto something um, like like paleo, because I've done paleo in the past with the same results. Um, and when I started to work out more, like going back to Orange Theory, joining Stride, carnivore just did not work for me. Um, I felt really, really tired and lethargic and um, I needed more carbs in my diet. You know, when you do carnivore, you're basically not getting any carbs. So, um, so I pretty much abandoned carnivore and I've been wanting to get onto paleo um, and, and through doing paleo like earlier in my life, like we're talking like five, six, seven, like seven or eight years ago, um, 
I started, I did it very strictly for maybe like eight months. And then I started to kind of like fold things back into the mix. And I folded dairy back into the mix because that was the first thing that I missed. And I didn't notice anything bad happen to me. So I kind of determined at that point that like dairy just was okay. My body could um, digest it. It was fine. It didn't bother my stomach. Uh, none of my skin ailments came back. Um, there were some allergies that I kicked when I first did paleo. Uh, like I'm allergic to nuts, but all of a sudden I could start eating almonds again. I could never wear earrings. I could start wearing earrings again, like any kind of metal. So anyway, I've been wanting to get back into paleo. I just, I just haven't been in the right mindset. I just haven't been able to do it. Probably because I've been busy and probably because I've been going out a lot more. But I really, really have gone off the rails. Like cookies, um, chocolate. I don't even like chocolate that much. Ice cream. Just anything I can get my hands on. A sugary drink. Again, so, like something that I don't even really like. In one of my vlogs recently, I got like a sweet... Co I don't even remember what I got, but it was like a sweet coffee at Starbucks. I never, ever do that. I barely even go to Starbucks. Um, so I've just been, I don't know, just like really just gone off the rails. Like... <laughs> I don't know what's going on. And, um, you know, obviously I've noticed a lot of things. I've noticed, you know, a little bit of weight gain. I've noticed uh, my energy levels are really kind of like up and down throughout the day. Um, that was, you know, one thing that I noticed when I was doing carnivore, you know, it's like within a week, I felt like my energy levels were really even. I didn't have any like peaks. I didn't have that like really horrible, horrible, like mid afternoon, like lull. I didn't have that. <clears throat> so I'm noticing a lot of like energy spikes and lulls, which I don't like. It really bothers me. It makes me feel like something's wrong. And when I eat this way for a long time, it starts to affect my mood. And so, you know, this morning, like I was saying, I just felt like I don't know, it wasn't even that I was so overwhelmed with work and if I took, I don't know, two hours out of my day total to go work out or whatever, it wouldn't have set me that far back. But I just felt like, oh, I don't feel like going. And I don't, I don't know, I don't like feeling that way. And not to say that I'm never gonna feel that way if I eat cleaner, you know, like we all have our moods. Um, but it, they're less likely to happen. So I just, you know, I just really wanna get back to clean eating. I just don't know when. <laughs> when that's going to happen. Uh, but the reason why I'm telling you all of this is I woke up yesterday with, and I don't know if you guys can see them very clearly, but I have these red spots here on my eyelids and they uh, were burning. Um, they were much redder yesterday and they were itchy um, and they just, they looked like this one looked scaly and this one looked like I had a bunch of little white, like little whiteheads gross. And I was like, oh my God, is this my eczema? Like I haven't had to deal with this amount of eczema in a very, very long time. And I thought to myself, well, I haven't eaten the shitty in a really, really long time, like consistently, just like day after day, just eating crap, junk food, fast food, sweets, sugary stuff. Just, yeah, just like I said, just completely off the rails. So I'm really bummed. And what I've realized is that it's not just eating poorly. If I just ate poorly and I was like in a hyperbaric chamber, <laughs> I would, my skin would probably be fine. It's just that when I eat poorly, my skin becomes like less able to help itself. It becomes like more, it becomes more sensitive. So I feel like because I've been trying a lot of different eyeshadows, like I started to kind of feel it when I was using the Makeup by Mario eyeshadow. I just was like, I was applying the eyeshadow and I'm like, why does my skin feel weird? And then I used the Lisa Eldridge eyeshadow and then I used like the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow. I was just using a lot of different eyeshadows and I think my skin was just like, no, no mas. And this is what happened. And I would bet you a gazillion dollars that if I was eating well, the eyeshadow wouldn't bother my eyes. So I really need to get my eating in line just so I can feel better. Um, just so, yeah, I don't have those energy ups and downs and so I can get rid of this freaking eczema. Yeah, it's really, really bothering me. And I know it's gotta be the eyeshadow because I'm only bothered right here. <laughs> right here, nowhere else on my face. Everywhere else on my face is like totally fine. It's right here. So when I put on uh, makeup uh, to go out tonight, it's gonna be really, really light. It's not like I can avoid this, but I'm gonna put on stuff that I know doesn't bother it. We'll see, we'll see what happens. And I'm only gonna put it on for dinner. I'm gonna take it off as soon as we get home. So it's only gonna be like maybe three or four hours that I'll have it on. So 
hopefully it'll be okay. But anyway, I'm just gonna like dry my hair and I've just been putting La Mer just straight on, that's it. And that's actually helping a lot. And then we'll figure out what to wear tonight. All right, we are back for day 16, you guys. Oh my gosh, less than 10 days to go. So for Space and K, uh, we've got 16 right down here. Oops. And the clue is by Festive Face. Oh, we've got the Ordinary's High Strength Vitamin and Mineral Blemish Formula, Niacinamide and Zinc. Oh, cool. All right, day 16 for Joe Malone is up here. And we've got the, ah, the Peony and Blush Suede. This is definitely one of their best sellers. It's such a pretty, it's a very feminine fragrance. And then finally for Diptyque, number 16. Let's see. 16, right here. And oh, we've got another votive. Oh, we've got the Tube Rose. Such a lovely one too. Mm, it's so pretty. All right, and here is today's offerings from our advent calendar. The um, blemish formula from The Ordinary, Peony and Blush Suede from Jo Malone, and the Tube Rose Votive from Diptyque. As you guys know, when I go out to eat, I really like to just gel my hair back and get it out of my face. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So all I did was just dry my hair. It's actually still a little too damp, hold on. It's dry now, and what am I gonna wear? Let's see. I really want to take advantage of the fact that it is raining here in Vegas and wear boots. So I think I'm going to wear my Chanel boots, which I have not worn probably like in a year. So I think I'll wear those. And I did pull out these Cos trousers because they're slim legged, but I think they're a little bit too long. I may have to roll them up. And I did take out this teddy coat that I got from Uniqlo. It was a collaboration that they did with J.W. Anderson. I think I may be too warm in this. I mean, it's just a coat, I can take it off. But I'm just gonna be in the car and then like walking through the casino. So there's really no point. <laughs> there's no point in me even wearing a coat. But I really like to take advantage of these like few weeks that we have in Vegas where it is a little bit cooler than usual and I can wear some of my winter things here. So I may just, I may just wear it because I can. So I have the shoes, <laughs> the coat, <laughs> uh, the pants, um, I guess I'll just throw like a black sweater, a black sweater over it. Okay, I just pulled out this Nordstrom um, cashmere sweater that I have, and it was inexpensive, so I'm not really surprised, but I don't know, can you guys see? Oh, there. Can you guys see how like badly it's spilling? So I need to shave this. I have to dig out my sweater shaver and shave this up. So, sorry, I'm like playing with my camera settings. As you guys know, um, I got my vlogging camera um, stolen from me when I was in Morocco. So I just went ahead and purchased the same one, but I know I had played around with like the settings on that camera and I'm still trying to figure out what I did on that camera and do it on this one because I was noticing that banding. So because like all lights now are like LED lights, you get that weird banding. And I mean, I don't think, I, I'm not sure on this camera if I can totally get rid of it. Actually, let me look. Anyway. Sorry about that. Like if you saw like maybe like a dark, like a shadowy band or even a white one or like bands that are like moving kind of slowly across the um, the footage, I apologize. That's like the LED light and like the, the speed that you're recording at. So I think I just, I've just played around with it and I think maybe it's a little bit better. So I'm like looking over here to see if there's any banding. Anyway, uh, let me go find a sweater shaver for this. Okay, I have like a electric one and then I have one that is manual that you just it's like a like a comb so I'm going to try the manual one sometimes I find one works better than the other it just sort of depends on the sweater okay so I pretty much got off all the big pills there and I took the other side of this tool. This is, what is this? This is a gleaner. <laughs> um, the other side of this has like a, what are these called? Like a lint, a lint remover. And just sort of cleaning it up. I noticed there was a lot of Miss Fuzzy Butter's hair on here. All right. 
That is a little bit better. I wouldn't say it looks new, but close. <laughs> close. Yeah, looks pretty good. Okay. And I did not forget, I know I asked you guys if you wanted a video on how to like care for your fine knits like cashmere's and, and yak and stuff like that. Um, and so many of you said yes. So I am gonna do that video. I just have to get like my thoughts organized, uh, but we'll definitely do that. I have not forgotten. So let me go ahead and get dressed. I'll be right back. I am totally running late. So I just threw this on. I actually changed to a pair of Everlane uh, pants because yeah, they were just easier to roll at the cuff because I need them. They don't sit right if they're sitting over the boot because of this big like CC at the bottom there. It just kind of like gets caught on that. So anyway, I just wanted to roll the pants up over the boot. And here's that sweater, which I think is looking pretty nice. And I put on this chunky Cuban link chain from Stephanie Windsor. I will leave her information down below. You can get 10% off with my code, which I will leave down in the description box. Um, but yeah, this is, I actually can't remember if this is 14 or 18 karat gold, but I love it just as like one simple statement piece. And then I decided to go for my Chanel 19 bag because I haven't worn this in a while either. And I was eyeing some puffer bags and I was like, I have a puffer bag. Let me use my little Chanel 19 baby. So that is tonight's outfit. And then I need to do my hair. I'm gonna pull it back and then we'll put on that JW Anderson Teddy coat. Okay. Hair is pulled back, and then when I did that, I realized I didn't have any earrings in, so let me find some earrings. I'm just gonna throw on my Onyx drop earrings. I just feel like these go with everything, especially when I'm wearing a lot of black. And now, oh, the jacket. Well, what do you guys think? I actually don't know if I like this jacket. I think it just... I don't know, I was hoping to keep it kind of casual, but I think it just kind of made the whole outfit look a little cheesy. Okay, let me find another jacket. What do we think about this? I like this. I think it is weather appropriate. I think it keeps a little casual. I like the green with the beige and the black. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go with this. Okay, my husband just dinged me and said we're running late, so... <laughs> I'm not going to put any makeup on, which is probably for the best, considering how my skin is feeling. Sorry, I'm walking through my dark house right now to go downstairs. So I'm skipping the makeup. I'm just going to go out completely barefaced, not unheard of. And let's head on over to Amalfi. Absolutely amazing. We got the uh, black bass 
Oh my God, that's some of the best fish I ever had. So Dominique and Cell just opened up here in Vegas. So we're gonna hit that and get some cronuts for tomorrow. <laughs> Well, we were totally thwarted. They ran out of cronuts, <laughs> which is probably good considering what we were just talking about regarding my skin. So my husband got some, I don't know, croissants. I think he got a plain one and a chocolate one. Anyway, we're gonna head over to the forum shops and uh, do, a little, do a little window shopping, see what's going on over there. So I just wanted to close out this vlog because I think I left you hanging with just some footage of the forum shops at Caesars. So we did walk around a little bit and every store I wanted to go into, they had like a velvet rope up and I was like, it's, it's just too dramatic. Like I just wanna walk in and you know take a look around or whatever. Um, but I did wanna mention that the Fendi boutique there has that um, sequin baguette bag that I have, but like in a pink that light pink and I think people have been searching high and low for that so if you're interested give maybe the Fendi boutique at Caesars a call they may be able to um, help you out with that and also that giant YSL shopper I think it's called the giant shopper or something that was at the YSL boutique at Caesars last night too so if you're interested in that maybe give that boutique a call anyway so yeah so we just walked around and um, didn't you know didn't really actually go into any of the stores. I stopped into the Apple store because I'm thinking about getting a new iPad, but that's it. Nothing, nothing too exciting. And, oh, I have to show you. So we did stop by Dominique and Sal after dinner and my husband wanted a cronut. They didn't have any, they ran out. So he managed to find three other things to purchase. And I just had to show you how big these croissants are, the chocolate. So look how big that is. It's like the size of my head. Um, and they're heavy too. So anyway, we picked up three croissants. We got a chocolate one. We got a chocolate with like toasted coconut on top. And then we got just a plain original one. I am going to stay away from those because I woke up and my skin is looking like a little bit better. Yeah, like a little bit better. I just slathered La Mer all over it, which usually does the trick. So I'm going to do that until it's gone, I suppose. I'm just feeling a little like gun shy in terms of playing with eyeshadows and stuff now. But I am gonna try and clean up my diet at least a little bit. I don't think I need to go like full elimination diet um, before the end of the year, but just to kind of keep it at bay, I think I need to just kind of pump the brakes a little bit. And maybe in the new year, I'll do something a little bit more drastic when I can, you know, when it's not the holidays and temptation is around every corner. Oh, and just one last thing before I go, a Amalfi, that restaurant is so good. It is so, so good. It is, uh, yeah, just incredible food. I liked how it was, you know, a very nice restaurant, but it didn't feel too stuffy. You know, they had TVs up at the bar, you know, playing football or whatever sporting event. Um, so like, it was casual. So it was like very comfortable. The service was incredible. And I feel like when you go out to eat, the service can really make or break your meal you know what i mean bad food is one thing as well but like service can really just like bad service can really just ruin a meal and the service was incredible uh, the food that we got was incredible i showed you all of that it was just oh my god it was so so good yeah i think i mentioned that we got the black sea bass we got it with the salsa verde uh, sauce and then to start we got this crispy brussels sprouts um pomegranate and pear salad oh my god delicious and we also got charred octopus, 
my husband got some like clam pasta that he loved and he ended with a pistachio sundae, which I could not partake in because I'm allergic to pistachios. Um, but he got that. I just had some coffee. I mean, it was great. The, the meal was fantastic. It was absolutely divine. So highly recommend um, Amalfi. And that's it. That's it. So I just wanted to close this out, conclude everything, and I will see you in tomorrow's Mishmas video. Bye.